In today's video, I'm going to show you how we managed to print this colorful sneaker, which at first was wasting 764 grams of filament. That's more than double the weight of the actual model. But with the few simple tweaks that you can easily apply in your slicer, we managed to bring that down to just 235 grams. And the best part, with zero color bleeding. Printing multiple colors is definitely something that everyone finds super impressive. But a lot of people, and rightly so, end up avoiding it because of the huge amount of filament waste. And that was exactly what motivated us to make the first video of this series, where we explored how to minimize waste when printing in multicolor models. I shared a bunch of important tips in that video to help you reduce the color swap waste, and I'll leave that video linked up here in the cards. You should definitely check it out later. Back then, the method we figured it out involved a few more complicated steps, like editing the G-code, for example. And yeah, I know that's not something that everyone feels comfortable doing. That's why I'm making this new video with a method that is way, way easier. Something that literally anyone can do is straight inside Bamboo Studio, no complications. Just like I explained in a previous video, the reason for all this purge waste is that when the printer switches colors, there's still a bit of the old filament left inside the hothead. So the new filament needs to push out the leftovers until the nozzle is fully clean. In the last video, we figured out that pulling the filament a little bit before cutting it could massively reduce the purge waste, saving a lot of material between the color swaps. However, some people feared that this technique could cause clogs in their printers. So this time, just to make sure we stay on the safe side, I stuck to the Bamboo recommended settings and I ran 5,230 color changes with zero failures. Using all kinds of PLA, standard and silk while printing this skill pad, this octopus, and of course, the start of this video. All of this to ensure we are operating within the safe limits, avoiding clogs at all costs. That said, let's dive into the test. Okay, so let's jump right into the slicer, all right? So we are here on Bamboo Studio and this is the model that we are going to be working with. So I'm not gonna change anything for now. As you can see, if you click on your filament settings, you will have the settings override turned off, which is the regular thing, all right? And the flushing volumes, as you can see, I'm gonna put in the right extruder because I'm using the H2D right here and the multiplier is one, all right? If I slice this model right now, uh, choosing the custom one, because I don't wanna use a different color sorting that Bamboo H2D has, but what I have right now for this model, it's actually 793.58 grams of filament that it's being flushed, which is almost twice as much as I have for the model itself. It makes absolutely no sense. I'm wasting twice as much filament on the flush than on the model. As you can see here in the tower, we're not gonna change the tower, we're not gonna mess with the tower in this video because uh, the tower is actually important even when you're just cleaning up the nozzle. There are ways that you can print it without the tower right here if you wish to do so but it's not the ideal because it does create a little bit of stain, so it's important for you to use a tower to actually wipe the nozzle as you print. After printing the model, the amount of flush volume that we actually had in this model was 764 grams. So there might be occasions where we are going to see a slight variation from what the slicer tells us to what's actually happening. Okay, so right now I'm gonna teach you the easiest method there is for you to save filament on your print. Uh, it's not gonna be the most effective way to save uh, filament, but it's the easiest way, the fastest way, and it's pretty straightforward. So let's go back to our slicer. All right, so as you can see here, if you click on your filament settings and you go on settings over right, you can activate the long retraction when cut. And the long retraction when cut, the maximum number it allows you to have is 18. So if you put any number that it's going to be more than that, What's gonna say is that the value is out of reach. So 18 is the safe number that you have. 18 is the number that Bamboo have tried it out and the number that we have tried it out over here and we didn't have any issues with any of the tests that we did. So we didn't have any clog on any other tests that we did because this is what is, is the way to be on the safe side of things, okay? It's going to pull the filament back up, it's going to cut the filament and then make all the purge and everything. So it's a lot less filament that it needs to be flushed. And this is the whole thinking behind this entire process. But if you want to be extra careful, you can bring this number down. So it's going to pull less filament inside when performing the cut. So you can go here and put 
12 for instance. But what we have tried in here, what we found good results with, with this, with the 18, we haven't found any issues. I wasn't talking about clogging or any other things. All right, so the second thing we can do is go on to the flushing volumes and then choose the extruder in this case. And then I'm going to bring the multiplier down to 0.5. And this we have already tested out even from black to white, which is the most extreme case, and we haven't had any stains. So 0.5 is still on the safe side. It's a good multiplier. Now let's slice and see the result. Okay, so now we can expect a flushed volume of 396 grams, which is almost half of what we had before. So this is an incredible reduction. We still have a bit more flushed volume than the print itself. So if you, if you were to print two of these, the amount of flush would be the same. You would now have a better print to flush ratio than what you do right now. But uh, we have already created a big decrease here in the, in the amount of grams that we have been wasted. Okay, so now what we have applied here are two very simple tips, right? We have allow the long retraction that is still on the safe side, that's 18 that Bamboo allows us to do. You can put it to 12, the reduction will be slightly smaller. And we have changed the flushing volume multiplier from one to 0 0.5. So these are very easy tips. These are tips that you can do straight up in your, in your slicer. You're going to be on a safe side. You're already going to create a big reduction. And I think that that tip by itself, it's already worth your like and subscribing to our channel. But now let's go on to the more complicated stuff and see how much further we can reduce it. So after I waited the finished print, the flush volume was actually 345 grams of filament. And that's already a 45% reduction because you remember the number in the slicer is an estimate. You still have to weight it in to see how much you've actually reduced it if you wish to do so. It's very visual how much you have reduced your waste, but you can still weight it in and see the results that you're actually getting. So if you watched our previous video on how to reduce filament waste in the Bamboo Studio, you saw that we have combined the flushing volume and the long retraction with a technique from a maker from Maker World called Suf Suf. So now we are going to do the same thing. The good thing it's now in this latest update of Bamboo Studio is actually easier to do than it was previously. So the link for this test is in the bio, but I'm gonna show you how I applied it into the slicer. All right, so I have this over here, but the link is in the bio, so I'm going to open it up. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the colors for the colors that we need. So get this wild yellow, change it to white. Also gonna get this orange, change to red. Get this orange and change to white. So basically having here all the colors that I have uh, on our slicer, all right? Because I wanna test every color change that I have to see when the stain actually disappears. So what we're actually testing here is how much filament I need to extrude in order to fully flush the filament to have a complete color change, right? To have 100% of color change. And this is what the seal seal test does. All right, so now let me show you what exactly happens when you slice this model, all right? You slice it up, and as you can see, we do have the color changes, but if you go on flushing volumes, you can see this is all zero. So it's not gonna flush any material. It's going to keep on printing, and you will see, if you look at the at the lines here, at the, at the lines that you see on the G-code, you'll see that this is actually color changing it very slowly. So you can see the nozzle movement right here. So it's going and changing its color because it's gonna be considered fully black, but it's still purging the white. So you will know exactly when the color change happens. Uh, and when you see the printed model, this actually tells you where precisely we have the full color change. The color is completely changed, leaving no stains behind. So ideally what you need is to test every color transition that you have in your entire filament catalog. And we know that that's not practical, that that is surreal. If you are printing for profit and you have standard colorways, I think it's worth it for you to test it out and get to the ideal results. However, if you're printing new stuff every day and you're constantly changing the models that you are printing, well, there is an easier technique that I'm going to show you right now, all right? I'm going to first explain the theory, then I'm gonna show you how to apply in the slicer. So, what you're gonna do is you're going to get your worst case scenario, which in this case right here, the color transition is from black to white. So this is the worst color transition that we have. 
and you are going to find that ideal setting, okay? So as an example, let's say it's 250. Then you are going to see on all flushing volumes, all the numbers that are above 250, and you're going to lower it down to cap at 250 max. This is going to already bring you an even further reduction to the point we were before. So let me show you how to do it in the slicer. Okay, so we are gonna go on flushing volumes, all right? And I'm going to bring, let me just change the extruder, okay? Bring the multiplier down to 0 0.5. As an example here, let's say that your number is 250. So you're gonna look, it's going to look at every color transition that you have here, that the number is above 250 and you're going to cap at 250, all right? So let's go ahead. In here we have the 277, which is beyond 250, the 350, which is also beyond 250, and we have the 250 beneath it as well. So let's change it to 250 across the board, all right? 250, and then the 277, we're also going to change from 250. We're changing here from black to red, all right? Okay, so now this is going to be a change that you're going to do across the board because you know that the worst case scenario here is from black to white and you know the number for that one. So every single color transition that is not that one is going to be easier, all right? So now let's slice it up and see what is the reduction that we're able to bring to this model. So this is already going to bring you an incredible reduction to the model that you are doing. But now let's go on to the extreme scenario, the scenario where we know precisely how to change the flushing volume because we have tested every possible color combination. All right, so we are going to apply from black to white 150, from white to black 75, from black to red 125, from red to black 75, from white to red 75, and from red to white 150 also. Remember that when you're looking at your samples and tests that you did, do leave a little bit of room for margin just to be on the safe side again. All right, so now we pray and slice it to see what are the numbers that we're going to be achieving. All right, so let's slice it up. And the final result is 199.11 grams from the initial 700 and a lot that we had to 199. And now we have a flush volume smaller than the model that we are printing. If we were to print three of these in the same print pad, now the ratio from model to flushed volume is a lot bigger, which means that you are saving filament, saving money, and possibly even making your product more profitable. So this is a super important tool for you to use. So now this is our final model that it only flushes 235 grams of filament, that's wasted filament, only 235 grams, coming from the initial 790 grams, recreating a reduction of 69%, which is an incredible reduction. Again, we are talking about printing a single model, but this is already a big reduction that I'm guarantee that it's worth for you sharing this video with everybody that prints with a bamboo so that they can know that they don't need to waste that much amount of filament. Oh, and by the way, this sneaker is part of the STL Flix collection. And speaking of that, STL Flix is celebrating its anniversary with a special three-year all-access deal. You get access to everything on the platform, every model, every release, plus the upcoming ones for the next three years. And you also get access to all SEL Academy courses. It's your chance to lock in everything SEL Flix has created in the past three years and everything that we will be releasing in the next three. And, and the cool thing is that when you actually see the printed model, the test that you just did, you will see that Bamboo stays on the safe side. It's their strategy. They wanna minimize the mistakes that a user can make on its own printer. And it's a good strategy in my opinion, but since here, we're trying to be the more professionals as we can and get to the ultimate best result, there is a possibility for you to see precisely what you need in terms of flush volume. And that is how you can bring the biggest reduction in terms of flush to your prints. If you made it this far, thank you. That was without a doubt, one of the coolest videos we've ever made. You guys absolutely loved the previous one, so let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the simplified version and these new tests, and make sure that you test it out as well. And tell us in the comments what you would like to see in the future videos. We're always reading your suggestions to create the next content. So see you next time, and happy printing.